watching the U.S. Marines NIBC Series, the National Interscholastic Basketball Conference, the premier high school basketball conference, and a showdown from inside the LaPorte Civic Center in LaPorte, Indiana, between sixth ranked IMG Academy down in Bradenton, Florida, and Legacy Early College yeah. all going for him yesterday. Well, he really did. It was one of the most complete games I've ever seen from him. He's known primarily for all of his physical tools because he's powerful, he's long, he's honestly just a physical specimen, but it's been the versatility of his game that stood out recently. Not just the progression of the skill set as you see the shot making here, but the rebounding, the passing, the ability to defend different positions. It was all on display yesterday in a big win for IMG Academy. His player spotlight is brought to you by Chipotle. And you can see, Adam, that his order is a chicken bowl. I think the bowls are a little bit underrated. At shooters Chipotle. on this roster, a floor spacer. And see what legacy's got for IMG here tonight. It's IMG who wins the tip. In the dark colored jerseys, Legacy Early College, the Lions in the white, nearly a tip and a takeaway by Zalen Cheney going to Houston to begin his college basketball career. Keontae George, the uh, one of the candidates for the explosive athletes in the entire country. He is a highlight reel waiting to happen, just as good of a vertical leaper as there is. Off the stumble by Clemens, the takeaway by Jim. of the Laporte Invitational as well. They lost to Lumiere by 28 yesterday, 74 to 46. And it was very apparent when they came back out in the second, the second half in terms of the type of message he sent. Walker pulls up from the extended elbow and knocks across it the down. country, and he's continued to do that to his credit. Just keeps getting better. This is already danger territory for Legacy, down eight nothing in the opening quarter, and yeah. IMG gets him there. Great footwork there to hold his pivot foot, step right Bradley through. Bradley throws it in. Eric Daly for three. Offensive rebound looked like George. He still has it. Noah Bachelor for three. Down it goes. In the shot pocket. Legacy desperate for some offense, and there's a lid on the basket as Cheney misses point blank. Double dribble. But it goes for Eric. Almost halfway through the first quarter. Kali Horton turned it over, taken away by Daly. Up to Jarris Walker, who steps through traffic and softly. They played uh, La Lamere in today's game. Then tomorrow they've got Sunrise Christian. So this is uh, for IMG and running the controls right now. Well, you can already see Sean McAloon going a little. That's pretty, by the way. Bachelor for three. That's his second of the game. And, and you can see Sean McAloon going uh, deeper into his rotation earlier in the game than he might otherwise do. Try to keep fresh legs as much as he rim, can. It's pulled down by Walker. And see it, the ability to start the break with a few dribbles in a uh, more up tempo game. That's going to be a, a definite weapon. Jaden Bradley, this is in the lane. Final minute of the first quarter. Bradley off to Walker. And the extra feed to Daly does not produce a bucket, but back to back behind the back passes. Say that five times fast. Yeah, it's a lot of behind the back. National Classman, you talk about having four ESPN 100 prospects and a pair of five-star prospects in Jaden Bradley and Brandon Miller. I mean, they are just uh, asserting themselves. You know what I love about Alabama? A lot of basketball point range. National championship game on Monday in Indianapolis for the Alabama Crimson Tide. I wonder if Brian Hodgson is going to make the trip down I-65 and catch the national championship game as Cohen Carr banks it in for legacy. I know I would. Takes a I lot of skill. You know, everybody says, oh, look how much talent they have. Well, if you're the first person to try and teach these kids what it's like when they don't have the ball in their hands all the time, it's a lot easier said than done. Daly with the block. And Keontae George cherry picks. He's got five. Foul called on. He's working hard. Uh-oh. Yeah, he definitely deserves it now, Adam. You're yeah, right. It's just a <laughs> dominant showing. It's a great example of execution off the baseline out of bounds play. That would change the complexion of the NIBC a little bit. <laughs> IMG, they're doing okay. They're sitting at number six. They're 12 and two. In Florida, along with Oak Hill and Sunrise. So every game was a heavyweight matchup as you see the lob up top to Noah Batchelder. And then Bradley says, yeah, I think I'll take that back. Thank you. Bachelor again, run it back. What a sequence. Approach, the unselfishness. They're up 41. They're still diving on the floor. They're making extra passes. Would have been very easy for Jaden. 
maybe the first questionable shot they've taken. Credit Michael Moore, who batted that rebound to his teammate, Jacoy Hutchinson, who sank the jumper on the second try. Well, Michael Moore. Still a, a message that needs to be received for ING. But look at that, Keontae George still getting over the ball screen, still in a good stance. Shaney misses the dunk. And then on the block, Khalil Arnold loses it out of bounds. Fast hands from Jaden. Yep, yep, had that slip. On the cut, Cohen Carr puts it in. No spoilers, though. Don't worry about it if you haven't seen it yet. I was going to say. <laughs> Don't ruin it. Three-pointer Horton rattles it down. Well, again, that's that's what he can do. He can, he can make shots. He can stretch the floor. Ten seconds now. Carr. Oh. Wow, what a finish by Carr. I told you it was coming. Man. 12 times in the first half as well, and you can credit IMG's suffocating defense for a lot of that as the team switch sides for the second half. Right back where IMG left off a reverse. My math's not great, but I think that means they need to get a stop here if they don't want this clock to run. And they did. Your math is good enough, Adam. <laughs> Wait a second. George for three, and now we're over 35. That? Yeah, and you know what? I, w I was talking to uh, people from the NIBC yesterday, and I just said, I, I really like this rule. And it it's because I think it does two things. Um, it protects against people getting hurt when the game is really out of reach. And the other thing it does is it protects against the team who's losing from, from getting embarrassed. Remember, the platform that this league offers is second to none. Obviously, on the last bucket for Legacy on their last time down the floor. And remember, at the high school and college level, these are still learning environments. Contested oh, layup so. for Jaden Bradley there. And, and you don't learn any first step along this process. Remember, Steph Curry, was not a heavily recruited prospect. A lot of schools passed on him before he ended up at Davidson, and there's so many stories. ESPN 100 recruits is on track to win its second game in as many days as Hortland. When they start playing the right way within the context of a system, especially as it comes to like rankings and ratings, because ultimately we're trying to project the futures market, decide how good you're going to be at the next level. CAC is, is uh, one of the best high school basketball conferences uh, in the country. Three-pointer good for Khalil Arnold. He's up to seven points. Yeah, he can do that. He can knock down big shots. So can Noah Batchelor for IMG. That one a little bit strong. Walker saves it for the Ascenders. From just beyond the free throw line, Hutchinson. Do you see how they executed that switch? Hutchinson got beat. Bradley ran up to take the ball. Hutchinson recovered to his man. And Horton drops it in. Horton with seven as Legacy just trying to end this game with some positive momentum that they can take into their third game tomorrow. Hutchinson in and out. And the putback by Daly. It's good Bachelor action. Bachelor in the corner. It's good. It's a beautiful set designed specifically against the three-point zone. Uh, I'm sorry, to get a three-point shot against the zone. Just season in all of high school basketball. Blocked at the rim, Michael Moore with the stuff of Sutton. Yeah, Michael Moore raced to the rim and was just ready to play volleyball with that one. But Cheney with the teardrop, he's got eight. Legacy gets some points out of that. Down to Hutchinson. Walker for three. It rainbows down. Yeah, and the rainbow is exactly the right word. That is are the most often <laughs> blown delay in a game. Hutchinson can daily. Look at Mike Moore, he wants the block. And Carr with the turnaround flush. This is his arsenal right here. The power, the explosiveness. This is what he does best, Cohen Carr. Stays with Legacy, deep three on the way for Khalil Arnold. Three Rebound three. one by Hutchinson, who's done that more than once in this game for IMG. And Daly on the second try puts it down. We've praised them for here tonight, and appropriately so. I think the last deserving compliment of the evening. On staff there at IMG, you've got Brian Nash and Jimmy Carr and so many others. 
three-pointer to curl some screens, be a little bit more of an inside score. He's a great dunker right now. If he can add to that interior repertoire, it, it's going to, uh, you know, really add to his game. Bachelor with a late scoring spurt now has 21 to lead all scorers. And a block by Michael Moore of IMG, but a foul, and it puts Zaylin Cheney at the free throw line. Michael. Three games in the books on day two of the Laporte NIBC Invitational. One big one to follow, Oak Hill versus Lumiere on ESPN2.